Good evening, my name is Dr. Anna Delobo, and today I'm going to talk to acupuncturists worldwide. It doesn't matter where you are, this message may very much help you, and I hope that it does, especially if you're a beginner or if you, no matter how long you've been in practice, if you might be a little bit stuck in your love for our medicine or your profitability, wherever you are, perhaps this free advice can give you some, it can be a great takeaway for you. That can be life transformative, business transformative, and um, help you have longevity in this field. And why am I doing this? I go into some forums here and there, and sometimes I read the comments. And when I'm reading these comments, I can feel this common denominator, which is self-doubt. And doubt can sink a ship. But when you have confidence, that can really help excel you know, just really catapult you in your profession. If you want to know about my work, this is, I've been in practice since 1999. I'm on 25 years now. You can check out my work at Elements in Harmony, acupuncture.com. This is my third website. The other two websites, I put a lot of my work into this third one, a lot of the testimonials. But at this point, I think you can see on that website, a lot of the work, a lot of the, um, really intense cases that we've been able, severe cases that we've been able to heal here, have a, you know, a dramatic improvement in people's lives, such as brain hemorrhage with migraines, fix, um, people who told me that they were going to die and had three months to live and they're, you know, been four or five years now, they're still alive, uh, stage four kidney disease, was able to correct that, um, no longer needing a pacemaker and um, never had needed, you know, that actually happened recently where the doctor said, you don't need a pacemaker, they were about to do it. Um, so when that testimonial comes in, I'll be sharing that. Um, severe herniated disc issues and on and on. And the cases my master told me, Grandmaster Dr. Richard Tefutan told me, the late Grandmaster said, Anna, when you get further along in your career, the cases will get harder. And that's absolutely true. And I'm grateful for the challenging cases. My other website is SuccessfulAcupuncturist.com and you can check that out. What compelled me to make this video is sometimes I enter these um, different acupuncture forums and there's a common denominator that I see in some of the um, younger or less experienced acupuncturists. It's lack of confidence. It's self-doubt. And I can tell you that Doubt can sink a ship. And if this can give you one of the, you know, free takeaways, if just put yourself in the, sh in the shoes of an, a potential acupuncture patient, if they sense any form, uh, any, you know, inkling of doubt that you can help them along their healing journey, that can really impact, you know, their decision to hire you. But if they feel that you have this conviction that you want to heal them and that you will do everything it takes within your scope of practice, within means, but they, that they f truly feel your authentic desire to help them, they're going to hire you. And if it's a chronic issue, they know, they know it's going to take more than one, five treatments. But what can happen in those first two to six treatments? A lot of what I teach is actually on my website. I give people expectation videos, accountability videos, how to hold my work accountable. But what I really want to share with you today is this one little you know, nugget of gold. And it may seem so simple, but this one fundamental can change your life forever. It can change your, you know, your revenue. It can change the way people see you as a doctor, as a healer, as a practitioner. It could really catapult you to that next level. And it is... You know, if you want to make a living, work nine to five. If you want to build a legacy, you know, you got to work after five. It is 8.06 p.m. I'm still at the Healing Center. And this is what I want to coach people is that don't, you know, put yourself in this box where you are so limited in how many patients you can see, what types of people you can treat. You know, think outside the box. There are so many things that you can bring into the healing room. There are so many things. For, and the reason why I say consider working after 5 p.m. is because many people do work until 5. 
then they don't have to take time off to come see you. If they need to see you three or more times a week, then it's going to be hard taking time off from work, saying I have a doctor's appointment three times a week. Um, my expectations video, I really go into detail. If you go under once a week, once once a week or two more times a week or three more times a week, you know, do your best to heal them within two to six weeks. If not, at least, if you can't get them to 100% of whatever they're suffering from, get them to 50 to 80% in those first two to six weeks. You know, those are some basic, those are fundamentals that people really, you know, they want to see results. And I'm pretty much an out-of-pocket practitioner. So when I walked away from the insurance world in 2008, something that I really had to tell myself is, you better be good, you know? Anna, you better be good. If you're going to be having people hire you as a Chinese medical doctor, you better bring it. And these people who are coming to see you, they want to heal. They want to see that you authentically want to hear them, heal them. And a lot of this may sound like it's very, um, you know, basic. That makes sense. You know, where's the takeaway in this? Well, if you look at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com, you'll see some very difficult cases and just kind of peruse there a little bit. Some very, you know, stage four endometriosis, stage four kidney disease, people telling me I got three months to live and they're still alive. This is like five, four, five years later and they're doing well. Brain hemorrhage with migraine, that's not there anymore. You know, four, uh, five percent chance to get pregnant and the doctor said, give it up. You can't get pregnant. It's not going to happen. But then they work with me and I asked for three years and they got pregnant naturally in six months when I asked for three years. And I did that twice that year with two different couples. I had nothing to know. They didn't know each other. You know, there are, you know, all kinds of cases that are happening right now that um, one woman, I can't wait till, you know, it comes in. But she went in and the doctor said, I don't know what happened, but you don't need a pacemaker anymore. I mean, we're doing some miraculous stuff. You know, I tell my patients, you're catching me at 25 years of practice, not 10, not 15, not 20. You should get better after every year. But what you, you can't be doing the same thing over and over every year. It has, you have to evolve. You have to change as a practitioner. And you, have to, you need to think outside the box. And thinking outside the box means little things like working longer, putting the hours, studying more, really understanding what you're doing. Someone asked me, how do you know your success rate? Well, I pay attention. I pay attention. Do you not know how many cases are healing if they're coming in for headaches? How many people are you helping if they have severe migraines? Is it 1 out of 10, 5 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10? Do they, do they have, do you have a, a plan for them, a strategy? Because people just love to be told what to do. Just heal me. And what can you do in two to six weeks? Not two to six months. That's a long time. Yeah, a lot of my patients will keep me for months or years. But you, here's a little tidbit. And it's on my website. So, you know, I'm giving this for free. And it, you, you know, a lot of people pay a lot of money for this. Little piece of information. Get a lot of the work done in those first two to six weeks. Because they'll know, they'll see that you mean business. That you want to heal them. That that's the authentic thing. The first thing that I really want to share with you today, and the most important thing, is go in with conviction. I don't care if you just got licensed. I have a team of acupuncturists who are working with me, and I want them, I want them to, you know, my patients, I've been in practice for 25 years. Some of the acupuncturists I'm hiring, they just got out of school. I'm charging the same amount for them because I want them to know, look, you're deserving of it. And you will learn. And if you ask me the right questions, and if you take some advice and you apply it, you may get these results so that it can, you know, they can learn from my mistakes and they can, you know, get ahead in the learning curve much faster than I did. You know, the first seven years from my practice, 1999 to 2006, I didn't make a profit. It was hard. I had to work like one, two jobs. It was tough. I was 26 when I was licensed in 1999. And then I had a, I got married in 2002, had a baby in 2004, 2010, I had my second baby. And then when I was 43, I had a third baby. I was surprised. That was a surprise in 2017, you know, kind of threw a loop in my life. And 
all the while, you know, I'm training jujitsu. Now I'm coaching jujitsu. I'm assisting. I mean, I have a life too, you know. My kids are very busy. I got a college student. She's 20. I have a 13-year-old. I have a 6-year-old. How do you make a living? But more importantly, how do you make a legacy? How can you? You're the future of this medicine. I'm still the future of this medicine. I'm 50. You know, I practiced for a long time as a licensed acupuncturist. And finally, I got my master's in 1998. And finally, after having three kids, I said, you know what? It's time. They didn't have a doctor program in the 90s for me. So I got my doctor in 2022. And I'm very proud to say that because I became a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine after having my kids, after being married, after, you know, putting in time as a jiu-jitsu practitioner, as you know, other things in my life, having three kids, raising them. It is a juggle. But when you know when you're why, why am I an acupuncturist? In my book, that's a question that goes up, that comes up over and over and over. Why are you an acupuncturist? Till this day, I'll take my pen and I'll write down why I'm an acupuncturist. Why am I an Eastern medical doctor? That why is going to carry you. And that why is going to help you with the conviction to your patients that you can help them. And dispel doubt because they, they, your patients deserve to not have a doubting acupuncturist. They deserve to have a healer that's on their side who really is convinced that they'll figure it out. You can figure out how to help them. That's all they want. Can you help me? Will you figure it out? Because to this day that they come in, if they could have filled it, figured it out, they would have. But they're in your office. They're not in some other acupuncturist's office. They're not in a chiropractor's office or naturopath's office or their Western physician's office. They're in your office. So do the job. So when you're on the forums, consider writing with conviction. Learn, but just know that when you're posting on social media or sharing on certain things and you're just very doubtful, you're putting that vibration out. And that can cause people to feel like maybe you don't know what you're doing. So it's really easy when people contact me or they go on elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com and they see, wow, you look very convinced that you know how to help me. So that's what I'd like to share with you today is, you know, I'm not reading from any notes. Um, maybe got the message in the first couple of minutes, but I really just kind of wanted to share that with you. So whether you ever hire me as an acupuncture business coach, successfulacupuncturist.com, check it out. You know, or if there's a, some at least one takeaway you get from this that can transform your life and use it today. I'm a big believer. Whenever I go to any acupuncture seminar or jiu-jitsu seminar or personal growth seminar, what one thing can I learn today? What one thing can help me for the rest of my life? And I hope you got be authentic, have conviction, go in there with this true desire to help people, and you'll see what can that what that can do for you. All right, I hope you have a miraculous day, a miraculous evening. It is now 8.15. If you want to make a life, work 9 to 5. If you want to make a legacy, work after 5. Work a little longer. Show people that you're willing to put in the time and you're willing to put in the effort and you're still learning and you're still striving. You're still teachable. You still want to learn for them because truly at the end of the day, your best teacher are your patients. All right, if you want to check out my work as a practitioner, um, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. Again, I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. I'm board certified. I'm a licensed acupuncturist. I am still, to this day, a devout student of the late grandmaster, Dr. Richard Tefutan. And um, I'm also a graduate in his BOTSA class. And uh, if you want to check out my work as a business coach, successfulacupuncturists, plural.com, because that's what my love is these days, is seeing acupuncturists really transform, really become eagles. And as we elevate as practitioners, we elevate this profession. All right, take care.